Hey y'all, good morning. It is 7.30, not normally up this early. I might be awake this early, but I'm not normally up and like moving and doing stuff. And I'm doing stuff this morning. Kat and Joe come in, so I've gotta get ready. Um, last time when Anna and, and Christian came, I had more stuff done, but I've gotta put some things, just things away um, but it, you know, it didn't take me a second. So the house is pretty much ready, but I want to show you the guest room. This is the guest bedroom. Here's our nightstand. I feel like I'm going to put like a little, probably fake plant or in a small picture over there. I'm not really sure. And then here's our guest bed. I just put on pillows. I'm not super great at the pillow decor thing, but you know, hey, I think it looks fine. And then over here is our little toy area. I have four nieces, one nephew, and of course the little grandkids. So this is just their little toy area. These pillows actually came from the couch. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them because they're not like, it's not a pillow form inside there. It's like stuffing. So I need to find another pillow that I can stuff because I don't really like that pillow right there. <laughs> I don't like the color. It doesn't go with what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do this gray green color. I don't know. It's just, it's not my color. Here's our gaming area. My dad actually made this desk out of a pallet, an old pallet, and then he mod podged leaves on the front. And then there's the drawers. The drawers don't have like runners. They're just drawers, but still functions and it looks cute in my opinion. And my dad made it. So we have old school Nintendo here. Kids tried to sell this one time. Kids and Marvin tried to sell this one time. And I'm like, no, that's my game. So I need an HDMI cable because when Christian was here last time, we were gonna play, but we didn't have the HDMI cable and blah, blah, blah. And that's just the TV from our old bedroom. That is the gaming center. And we have toys and games in here because the grandkids will also stay here and well, probably maybe my kids will want to play the video games too. Um, so that's that's why we have kind of multi-purpose room. This is where their toys will be stored. This is where they can play video games if they want to. It'll be kind of off from the rest of the house and hopefully not bother anybody else. And then also uh, this is where our guests will sleep. The guest bathroom is not totally finished, but I just put those flowers. Those are from Easter and they're still alive. That's like two or three weeks ago. And then I had that little bird. It matches the decor. I'm doing kind of uh, this teal aqua color. And of course the Scentsy is from my sister. So if you need Scentsy, I, I'm, I got a girl for ya. I'm just gonna put some towels in here. Maybe some little soaps or something. Just kind of like decor in the corner there. And yeah, so that's how this bathroom looks. And then if you go into the actual restroom, this teal color right here is the same teal color as kind of over there. So it kind of coordinates and matches. This is the old shower curtain from our old bathroom, guest bathroom. And then I just hung up a couple towels that has extra toilet paper I'm gonna kind of like lay a little towel over there just to kind of add to it. That is what our guest bathroom looks like. I, I'm i pretty pleased with how it turned out. It turned out great in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna get ready and go take a shower. First, I'm gonna clean the cat box. I always try to clean the cat box before I take a shower, so, so I don't want that smell in my hair. And then I'm going to Straighten up the kitchen, uh, the rest of the kitchen, depending on the, whoa, depending on the time. After I'm done cleaning the cat box, I'm gonna feed the cats because they're both hungry, both super starving hungry. And then I'm gonna get ready for my day. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get just a few groceries, not a, not a whole lot, because we have pretty much what we need. But, are you hungry? I think somebody's hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, baby? He's so hungry. Yeah, he is. So, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys have any ideas on what I can do in this other guest bedroom, let me know. If you guys have any ideas on what I can do for the cat room slash office area, um, in particular where the cat boxes are, 
this is what I'm talking about. This is the cat box area. And I have, they do like this little, It's this is a crate mat that I got. They like that. The two gold pillows are just there just because. I'm going to put some of that Rubbermaid, is it Rubbermaid? Liner down, the shelf liner stuff as a base. And then I'm going to put the stuff on top. I just hadn't done it yet. But I feel like I need curtains here or some sort of, some sort of a uh, covering because I, I need to minimize the cat box odor a little bit more than I already have. Because you can still, you can still smell it. And I just, ugh, I just don't like that. Why are you fighting? You so hungry that you're fighting? All right, I have the kitchen cleaned. I have a couple things up, but we live here. We live here. I also have, hey, you OG gray bays, remember? Remember this? This is my, this is my Yeti. I used to drink it every day. I would fill it with water, drink it every day. So I'm getting back on my water kick. So that's a step in the right direction. My son-in-law called me, Gavin, and um, Christian, how come you don't call me? So Gavin called me and we chatted for a little bit, and that's why I'm a little bit behind. But while we were chatting, I did clean up the kitchen. So I was killing two birds with one stone. I'm gonna get ready really quickly. I'm not gonna dry my hair today. I'm gonna let it dry natural again. And I'm gonna straighten up our bedroom and then I'm gonna head out the door and get my errands done because I have to leave in literally two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes. I've got to go. I got to go, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty excited about that. And so I, I but I need to go because I also need to bring this stuff home, unload it and then go get them and make sure that my trunk is cleaned out. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Thanks guys, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It's a little nasty outside. And I'm just rethinking my whole plan. <laughs> Cause it's really raining hard. Let me look at the radar, see how long it's gonna be raining. Bump. And then we'll go from there. Hear it? It's raining, I told you it's raining. I just got to Dallas Love Field and right back here is like the entrance to come into this parking garage. I'm like, please, I need a close spot. So then this this car over there with the lights on, they were like, like I don't know if they're leaving or not. They haven't left yet. So I asked this guy that was coming, I said, do they look like they're leaving? He goes, no, but I am. I'm right there. I am so close. So close, so close. Now I've got to skedaddle it in because according to the flight status thing, it said that Kat was here, but it but it didn't say, when I just checked it just now, it didn't say that she had landed. So, I swear I'm gonna fall on these flip flops. They make my feet slippery, but also they're not wet in socks and shoes. So out here at Love Field today, they have an ethics and compliance fair. Well, they also got this happening here. Joseph to um, CC's Pizza in Mesquite, Texas. And look, we got, we got pizza I right now. I've been to a buffet where they serve me. Yep, here you go, welcome to Texas. Kat wanted pizza and she wants CC's Pizza because growing up we always came to CC's Pizza. And so he brought him in and first off of that, he asks for, he likes chicken pizza apparently. And so Ramiro, the guy, the, one of the managers here, he's like, oh, we have some fresh out the oven. So they brought him some pizza in front of the register. So um, now they're in line getting some more pizza. Marvin's getting his pizza, and I'll go get mine in just a second because I'm kind of holding down the table. And then uh, I think that's about it for today. They had Joseph's friend Cam came over. He was on his way from Van, Texas to Colorado, and so he stopped by the house. And they just chatted for like an hour and a half and caught up. We hadn't seen each other in a long, long time. So that was kind of cool. Marvin and I went to the bedroom and I was doing some work. And I booked Marvin some tickets because he's going to go with me next week. I'm so excited. I love traveling with Marvin. And yeah, so it's been fun so far. 
I've got a little bit of work to do when I get home, and then tomorrow morning I do have a meeting that I have to go to, but other than that, it's gonna be fun time with the family, so, and I'll bring you guys along with me. Now, I'm gonna go get something to eat.